What's up guys, it's Jitters. Welcome back to another Valorant video. In this video, I'm going to be going over what I believe to be the best team comps on Haven. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Haven is one of those maps that's very flexible in terms of which agents are viable. Contrary to a map like Icebox, there isn't exactly one comp that dominates over the rest. However, there are still a few core agents that you will see on pretty much every team. Those core agents are Jet, Astra, and Sova. Starting with Jet, she's the best duelist to play on this map. She's the best opera in the game and Haven has a lot of great places to opt from. Areas like C Long, B Main, and even A Long are all great places to put an op. This gives Jet a lot of flexibility on defense to allow her to play on all three of the sites. There's also a lot of high ground on all the sites as well which she can take full advantage of using her mobility. A has the boxes that you can hold A short from, B has the generator and the boxes, and C has the boxes on site. All of these are great off angles that can be used to get easy kills on unsuspecting enemies. Overall, Jet's a very versatile duelist on Haven. The next core agent on the list is Astra. This is one of those maps where traditional smokes are usually better than Viper's Wall. Not to say that she can't be played because she has seen some play on Haven, but she's very rare. And of the traditional controllers, Astra's just stronger than Brim and Omen. For starters, Astra's unlimited range allows her to play anywhere she wants on the map and still be able to fulfill her role where agents like Omen and especially Brim can't really do that. On defense, they pretty much have to play on the B site or else they'll be too far away to smoke the opposite side of the map, where Astra can play pretty much wherever she wants. Astra's utility is also just so powerful for the same reason. Gravity Well is a very hard ability to push through, and the fact that she can use it from anywhere on the map means that pretty much whichever site you try to push will feel like there's an extra person on it. On offense, the fact that she has the ability to smoke 5 times if she wants to is also not something you should ignore. Defaulting is so common on this map, so being able to smoke multiple times over the course of a round is very important. An agent like Brim just doesn't cut it because he just doesn't have the longevity in a round to be able to default properly. The last core agent left to talk about on Haven is Sova. This is one of the best Sova maps in the game. There are so many great recon darts that can scan pretty much an entire site on both sites. On A site, darting in the window on attack means that players are only able to hide from it if they're playing either A short or in health. When retaking on defense, there's also the popular dart above graffiti that also scans a lot of the common hiding spots. On C, darting back site also scans pretty much the entire site. There's also a dart lineup to have it land on the roof above logs that also scans everything from a different angle. Either way, Sova's dart's a very effective tool for clearing out the C site. On top of that, there are a ton of tight areas that players can hide to try to cheese kills with a shotgun that Sova's drone is great for clearing out. Pushing areas like A short and garage become a lot safer when you're playing a Sova. With that, we've now had a chance to talk about all the core agents, so we're going to move on to talking about the other viable options. There are quite a few, so let's get into them. In the controller slot, Omen is viable and there's also Viper, but I'm going to put an asterisk next to her since she's a much more niche pick, so I wouldn't personally recommend her. For Sentinels, all of them are viable. For Duelists, Phoenix is viable along with Reyna. And finally, for Initiators, Sky, Breach, and KO are all good picks. To give you some examples of sample comps, you could run the core 3 of Astra, Jet, and Sova, and then add Killjoy and Sky to fill it out. Double Initiator is very common on Haven since their utility is so powerful. Alternatively, you could swap out the Killjoy and Sky for Cypher and Breach or any combination of those four. Each of the agents brings something different to the table, so who you pick will depend more on your team's playstyle. Having a Cypher is better if your team plans to play a lot slower and default more, where Killjoy has her powerful ult for clearing out sites quickly for attacking and retakes. Sky is good if your team is looking for more information, while Breach is better for hitting sites quickly with all of his powerful utility. So which agents you decide to pick are going to mostly depend on how your team plans to play out the rounds, but all of them are good picks in their own right. Now this is the part of the video where I talk about some of the other viable picks and explain how they could be used on this map. And to kick off that list, I'm going to start with Chamber. Chamber is similar to Cypher in that he's great for allowing your team to more easily default on attack. His trips can be placed down and have unlimited range which makes them perfect for holding down the flanks on both sides of the map. On defense, his trips are also great if you want to stack a site, since again he can place down trips somewhere like B site or garage so that your team can invest more resources into other areas of the map. He also adds a second opper to the team if your jet doesn't op or if your team plans on not playing jet altogether for some reason. Chamber's kit is just so flexible and can fill a lot of roles when team building. The next agent I wanted to mention was Ko, who's very strong on Haven for a number of reasons. For one, his suppression makes him a very good counter to the sentinels that are commonly played, being able to turn off their utility and make them pretty much useless on a site. The sites are also small enough that it's pretty hard to dodge the knife as well. 
His flashes are also good on this map with so many boxes to pop flash from and his ultimate is also very strong since it can be very easy to take over a site on Haven and then guarantee a revive on him if he dies. Another agent I wanted to talk about is Phoenix who has been getting a lot of negative publicity lately. He's still a solid pick on Haven and just that the meta is not really favoring double duelist comps right now so Sky is just being picked over him. But if anything this is still one of if not his best map so if you want to play Phoenix this is where to do it. His firewall is very good at splitting the sites to make it easier to clear them. His flashes are also really strong especially outside of garage or even sea long since it can be hard to avoid being in the open if you get blinded. And finally on offense it's very easy to farm up ultimate orbs especially on sea long where you can wall it off or have a teammate smoke it for you and then pick it up for free. And with such a powerful ultimate it's not a bad idea to focus on farming it up as much as possible to win extra rounds on attack. Finally omen's not a bad pick either. There are a lot of boxes he can teleport on top of and combine with one ways to make it really hard to push him on all three of the sites. A site for example you can play on top of the boxes, make a one way in A shore and it's pretty hard to push through. His blind is also really strong on Haven since it could cover so much area making it almost impossible to dodge. You can blind pretty much all of C long. You can blind enemies that try to push through garage. You can even blind on a retake like on A site where you can blind both graffiti and default for your teammates to push in. And these are just a couple of examples. Overall, not a bad pick on this map. And that's everything you need to know about team compositions on Haven. Hopefully this guide helped you out and you now have a better idea of what agents to play on the map. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to catch me live, I stream multiple times per week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jittersval. Also, if you want to be part of my Discord community with tons of other Valorant players chatting in there every day, be sure to click the link in the description. Finally, don't forget to subscribe for more Valent related content.